Hello, Taurus. This is Queen of Wands coming at you with your July 2020 reading. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate and it's not your story, don't try and make it fit. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check your other placements. This is for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if it doesn't, doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check your other ones. Um, also, there is uh, no, no time in tarot. Whenever you see this message is when you're meant to. There also is no gender. So don't get hung up on images that have a male or a female or if I say he or she. It's really just the energy of the card. Um, cross watchers welcome. I think that's it. Let's get started. These cards are always really hard to shuffle, so bear with me. I love them. They're just kind of stiff and they're, they're thicker, which means they're more durable. I'm kind of rambling. I'm not sure why. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, the hermit. You may be um, in a in a time when you are um, kind of going within, you know, looking for that that guidance that's within you. Okay, well, let's see what we've got. Can you see that? There we go, a little better. Okay. It looks like you are, pardon my dog. Phoebe, go lay down, go lay down. It looks like you're starting your, your read here with um, kind of a new opportunity. You, you've got um, something being presented to you um, by the universe, but I feel like you're not quite sure what to do about it. And, and it may very well be a, a, like a financial opportunity because pentacles are, are money, right? Okay, and this is your energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is, is pentacles. Um, it looks like it's kind of a new offer or a new idea or a... a um, a, you know, a younger energy that you've got going on here, but you, you're not making a move yet. You just don't know what to do with it. You're kind of thinking about it. And this next card, this four of swords says the same thing. You are thinking you're, you're not moving. You are being very still. You haven't made a move yet. Um, you are going to need to make a decision or you will make a decision. You've got the two of swords here. I just feel like you are under the impression that either you don't have all of the information or um, it's a newer idea. So you're kind of waiting to, to let it evolve or a newer opportunity. Um, or maybe it just involves a younger person. So you're you're trying to just kind of let that evolve and, and see what happens. Um, I do think that it's something that you want to be really excited about. You know, you, you think, wow, you know, if this is really going to go the way it's supposed to go or go the way I think it's going to go, it's, it's going to be a really amazing opportunity. Um, and this could be a business partnership. It could be a romantic partnership. But I feel like, you know, there's you and someone else involved and, and you're thinking, wow, this could really be an amazing opportunity. But again, you just aren't quite sure. There's things that you don't know. There's information you don't have. There's... There's just some things in the dark still that, um, choo, excuse me, whew, that need to come to light before you make any kind of a decision, before you weigh your options and make any kind of a decision. All of these cards here really have a lot. I mean, there's a lot of just contemplating, not making a move. Um, this, this four of cups, you know, you're just, you're taking it all in. You're thinking about it. There's, 
you know, this opportunity here and you're like, you know, I just don't know if it's right for me. I'm just, I'm just not sure. And again, I feel like maybe it involves a younger person. Pages are, are younger um, energy, a little more immature energy. So this could be, again, this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a business partnership. This could be some kind of, of idea that someone is presenting to you um, that's just in its infancy, you know, just kind of, of, of coming to, to light. But I do see with this King of Cups down here, I feel like, um, I, I feel like it's going to, I hate to say age, you know, or, or maybe this idea is going to become more mature and more, more solid. Um, or maybe this person, you know, that you're dealing with was, was a very young energy, but is now coming, you know, into, into this, this phase of, maturity or or this this whatever this this is is coming into maturity and i and i think it's something that you um that you are excited about that you really love and want to have happen with this hermit again you are really just you're really just going within and thinking you don't you know you're not quite sure what you want to do you're not sure what 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 you ought to um do with this idea yet you just don't know so you're not doing anything okay and you have the strength here. You could be you could be dealing with a Lego, but you don't you know you don't have to. Maybe you are kind of waiting for this idea to um, get stronger, to pick up momentum, to to see where it goes. Um, maybe you just need to be a little more patient and kind of let this this idea come to um, fruition before you make any decisions. Um, Ten of Wands, boy, it's it's this whole this situation is really wearing you out. You're thinking, wow, you know, this is. Is this something that I should even do? This is, you know, taking a long time. It's got a, a lot of twists and turns. There's a lot of information. There's a lot to take in. It's it's a big, it's almost a burden, but at the same time, you're still interested in this idea. Um, <laughs> I think you have a lot of passion for this idea or this, this person that you're dealing with has a lot of passion for this idea. The devil doesn't always have to be something bad, okay? Because I, I would definitely get in this guy's van. Look at that. Um, so two of pentacles, you are, sp <laughs> you're spending all your time weighing your options. Okay. And this is, this is more grounded, you know, you're going from the ace to the two. So this idea is starting to take shape in the 3d. So you can kind of see what it's about, see what's going on, but you're still thinking about it. Um, and I think you're worried maybe that it's not, that it's not going to be the right thing to you. Maybe you're thinking about about kind of dipping out and being like, you know, I don't, I'm not interested in this. This isn't something I want. I've wasted too much time already. And then bam, here it comes. You're like, oh my gosh, this is, this sheds the light. Now you've got everything that you need to, to make a decision, to make, to, you know, all this information that you didn't know has finally come to light and you're super excited about it. You, you know, you don't, um, you have all of the information now. So I feel like this is something, and here's, you know, another card, this Knight of Pentacles. This is, this is something that could long-term, um, you know, give you money. It's going to start small or give you um, stability. It's going to start small, but you're going to, you know, you're going to get there. So whatever, whatever is being presented to you, whether it's a relationship or uh, a job opportunity or a partnership with someone, um, Whatever, whatever is going on, you you really um, are taking a long time to think about it, and you know that's what you that's what you earth signs do. You're very grounded. You're very um, you, you weigh your options. You don't just jump into things. I'm a fire sign, so we just go. You know, we just dive right in, and sometimes we catch our hair on fire. But I digress. Um, but I think that this situation that you've got going on is ultimately going to be one that that you're going to fall in love with. Oh, yeah, because you've got, you know, you've got this Knight of Cups here and you've got this Ace of Cups here and it's going to be a balanced, um, a balanced opportunity that that's good for you and it's going to pick up a lot of momentum. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, you're it's going to bring you happiness and wish fulfillment. So if someone or something or you stumble upon some kind of venture partnership um, opportunity or relationship or whatever that you're not quite sure about. Um, just, you know, hang in there and do what you do, Taurus, you know, do what you do and, and think about it. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, until next time, I'm sending love and light.